General hospitals follow for Monday, November 13, particularly the Cortman Pools of a successful rescue of Ned Cortman. Ned is pulled out of the water and is grateful for Oliva's help. Of course, Ned will know who exactly Oliva is before that when Ned struggles in the water. Ned remembers a few details related to Ned's current marriage. Oliva broke down in emotion after what Ned said. Ned finally returned to meet Ned. Elsewhere in town, Spencer calls Ned Anger's girlfriend, Jenna Robinson. Of course, Spencer also knew about his girlfriend Anger. It turned out that Spencer was trying to prevent Esme from taking his guest out of Laura Collins' house. Trina thinks it's best for Esme to live now because Spencer and Trina's relationship won't be hindered by anything. But Spencer's argument made Trina extremely angry and said that Spencer was trying to become his father. That directly affects the relationship that Spencer and Trina have been having. Trina will eventually walk her way and leave Spencer feeling hopeless. At the hospital, Laura argued that Charlotte Cassidy should rest and not think about anything else. Laura is concerned about her niece Laura's mental health condition. Of course, Charlotte tries to tell Laura that Anna Diva was a bad person and not worthy of Laura just. But in Laura's eyes, Charles needs to quickly participate in psychological treatment before it is too late. Laura worries that if Charles' condition doesn't improve, Charles will cause more trouble. Elizabeth Baldwin will also be worried about the problem Jack's weapon son is facing. Lee's wonder if Jack knows about Charles' secret. Laura knows of Lee's concern. But Laura couldn't be sure of anything. Referring to what Charles did, Anna will also come come up with some theories about who attacked Anna. Wellington Casdai was the one who listened to Anna, and then came to a conclusion. Wellington admitted that Charles was the one who burned down Anna's house. Wellington also admitted that the person who broke into Anna's hotel room before was Charlotte. Wellington confessed everything, including how he tried to cover up the crime for his daughter. The slap was too light for the secret Wellington kept, then, then got angry and left. Blaze found it difficult to recount all of Blaze's past humiliation. Exactly. Blaze was once forked by Link Brown to slip with Link. And if Blaze did not accept that, Blaze would lose all of her singing career. Blaze has been silent for a long time on this matter. Now Lisa Davis wants to expose it. Of course, Blaze didn't agree. And it was Christina Carinto who convinced Blaze. Christina argued that there is no shame and that Blaze needs to speak up to show Ling true color. After telling Alyssa everything, Blaze began to feel like her. After that, Christina and Blaze's relationship will continue to develop and they will officially start dating each other. Curtis Asford and Drew can have a reunion after they went through so much trouble. Of course, when both of them were drunk, they began to think about all the problems in life that they have been facing. We don't know what their next day will be like and where to start.